Yes, um, this is Bissola Johnson uh, reporting live from uh, uh, Magistrate Court. Court 2. Efuru. Is it Efuru? Efuru Wari Delta State. We want to give glory to God. He is the beginning and the ending. We want to thank Him who has started with us. We want to thank Him who has ordered our feet. We want to thank him who has made all things possible. Father, we give you all the glory. This is Ruth Matthew, life and direct. She has gained her freedom. Bail has been perfected, okay? And this is the lawyer. Other lawyers are afraid because they live in worry. And let me say the truth. Let me say the truth. You know, that's just me. Yeah, they don't want to come into the video oh so that they God. will not be hacked down. Yeah, Madam, these Madam, people Madam, are evil. Madam, Madam, come, Madam, come to me. Oh my God. So, I'm not afraid of uh, I'm not a social media person. Okay. Mm, see, so, see me. See me. So now, this is another lawyer. Look at him. <laughs> we, are not not, social media we are not afraid of I'm anyone. Afraid. We are not afraid of any demon. Okay? And uh, this is Ruth. She's happy. Are you happy, Ruth? Okay, this is another lover of truth, lo lover of justice. She traveled far and wide to be here. She crossed seven land and seven <laughs> rivers to be here. <laughs> so, so yes, because they, yeah. Look, uh, see, see another, see another lover of truth, lo lover of justice. Yeah, we may be few, but we are, we are mighty, because the presence of God is with us, because the angels of God are with us. So, uh, we want to thank you all out there, all the bloggers. I want to specially thank Maureen Badejo for the great work she has, she has put herself into. I want to thank Dr. Chidi. I want to thank Prof. X. I want to thank all the families of uh, Ruth Matthew. I want to thank all the supporters, those people who support in, in, in every way, those people that are disturbing my phones, Calling to, to ask if I am well. Yes, I know you have good intention, but let me tell you, you really bother me. <laughs> the time you're supposed not to call, you call. I know you have good intention. So seriously, I want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate Chioma Johnson for what she did. Yes, support. I don't know her from Adam. I've never met her. She crossed seven land and seven rivers to be here. <laughs> so, so yes, because they, yeah. Look, see, see another, see another lover of truth, lover of justice. Yeah, we may be few, but we are, we are mighty, because the presence of God is with us, because the angels of God are with us. So, uh, we want to thank you all out there, all the bloggers. I want to specially thank Maureen Badejo for the great work she has, she has put herself into. I want to thank Dr. Chidi. I want to thank Prof. X. I want to thank all the families of uh, Ruth Matthew. I want to thank all the supporters, those people who support in, in, in every way, those people that are disturbing my phones, calling to, to ask if I am well. Yes, I know you have good intention, but let me tell you, you really bother me. <laughs> the time you're supposed not to call, you call. I know you have good intention. So seriously, I want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate Chioma Johnson for what she did. Yes, support. I don't know her from Adam. I've never met her. Sending but, a lawyer. Yes, yeah, sending a me. lawyer. I've, I, I'm just, you know, got to speak to her today. Yes. So, Ruth, what do you have to say? I want to say thank you to everybody all over the world for supporting me, for your love towards me and my kids. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Thank you. I thank you. The court. I appreciate the cuts also. Yeah. They really love me. They take good the emergency cuts. I really appreciate every convict that is at the gate. Thank you very much. So, you have heard from Ruth. Yes, Ruth is alive, she, she's well. And if they invite her to court again, she has no reason to run away. So I also want to thank uh, activist Harrison. Since Sunday, I've been calling him. He didn't pick my call. 
but she, she God used him to tie the the end of the matter today because he sent someone who came to uh, to to do the short thing. So we thank you all. We love you. It really worth it. Even though I came to I came to the court in my ninety. Yes, it's still it's still worth it. So that you know, yeah, we will be giving you other details later. We just want to use this one to appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Greetings, people. It's Mr. Paul the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. So it's a victory day for us. It's a celebration day for all of us. And I want to thank everyone. I mean, everyone that have been supportive, everyone that has been constant on this pursuit to bring justice, on this pursuit to make sure that Ruth has been awarded the justice that she deserves. But this is not the end. This is the beginning. Now we have to pull our pants up. Now we have to up our game. We need to bring our A game because we've just tamed the tail of a tiger. The charlatans are watching and the charlatans were waiting. The charlatans were expecting this to go the other way around. But God is with us and we are standing with God. We don't need connections. We don't need political affiliations. We only need Christ. And Christ will fight this battle for us. And no charlatan can ever fight the will of God and succeed. But I want to thank everyone. I want to thank Sister Bisola who's on the ground that have been coordinating most of the events that are going on pertaining to this case. And I want to give a special thanks to Sister Maureen. She has done the most. She has done the best. She has been making calls. She has been pushing in trying to put everything in place. You people, you are the true heroes. I will not forget the Nigerian bloggers that have come to party, that have come to the party, that have been speaking and preaching the same, the, you know, the same language, that justice for Ruth. Ruth deserves justice, not just Ruth. Everybody deserves justice. I don't know where you are, whether you're waiting from America, whether you're in Japan, EAU, wherever. You don't need to be in Nigeria for you to fight for Nigerians. I don't have to be in Nigeria for me to stand for the vulnerable that is, that is in Nigeria. Let's thank God for this technology that has allowed us and given us a chance to stand for those that can't stand for themselves, to speak for those that can't speak for themselves. And the likes of Ruth, she's not the only one. There are many other Ruthies out there. There are many other victims that, are do that don't know how to come out, that don't have anyone to stand for them. Now this means that the battle lines have been drawn. We have just tamed the tails of a tiger. The charlatans have been watching. The charlatans have been waiting. They have been expecting this case to go south. They have been expecting Ruth to be in prison so that we can be disgraced. But who can disgrace God? Who can disgrace the plan of God? This is the time, this is the beginning of a new era. This is the end of the prophetic era. Because these prophetic sh you know, shrines, they've just been there to rob people, to lie to people, to steal people, to steal from people, to create all this hogwash and nonsense that they've been creating over the years. So now we stand together, we come together, we come together and fight. Now this means war. This is not the end, this is the beginning. Now we need to bring our A game. All those that have been silent, all those that have been quiet, Victory is certain if we come together. There is no evil system that can stand or withstand the unity of a people. Wherever you are, take part in this initiative. Let's bring freedom to our people. Let's vindicate those that are crying, that have been put into tears by these charlatans. We all know, I know that these people that we call prophets, these clergymen, they've been the biggest cancer in our societies. They have caused so much damage, not just to the church of God, but to to believers, to citizens, and they've always been getting away with it. Now let's fight together with Ruth. Let's stand together with Ruth. And if you're a victim of these charlatans, bring your story again. Let's push it through. This is the beginning of a victory. And we still demand to know what happened to testimony. We still demand to know where is testimony. Jeremiah Omoto still needs to be brought to book. Like I said, the battle lines have been drawn. This means war. War against charlatans. If there was a way we can make an appeal to all the African governments to close all prophetic churches, they have to be closed, all of them. We have to start afresh. There's nothing wrong with starting afresh. We've gone this far. And we can always make a U-turn and start afresh. The same way they started, we can still start afresh. We need to open a door for real, true servants of God. Not these vagabonds, not these charlatans that take advantage of people. Not these charlatans that are causing damage to the lives of people, that are endangering the lives of people. 
These charlatans have caused enormous damage. You don't know. You people don't understand. You don't understand. They've persuaded some of their congregations, some, some of their congregations to discontinue their medication. Do you know how many people have died in these churches? You have no idea. They have been stealing, extorting their members. You know, when they ask you to pay tithe seeds and stuff, all that is extortion. When they give you a condition that if you pay this tithe, they will do A, B, C, D for you, which will never happen. It's extortion. They are con artists. They are the masters of con artistry. They are deceptive, manipulators, vagabonds, as I call them, charlatans of the highest knot. But I want to thank you all for standing with us. I want to thank you all for helping us fight this battle. If it was not for this public outcry, believe you me, Ruth would be in prison right now. We could have forgotten. We were never going to hear from Ruth. But if we come together, if we challenge the system, if we put the system to challenge, to test, once the system, once the officials know that the whole world is watching, they will not compromise. If Jeremiah had paid them, it's, what, it's money that went down the drain. It's wasted money. I'm sure right now he wishes if he had not bribed them with all the money that he had put to make sure Ruth spends her life in prison. We're not saying the case is over. This case is still ongoing. The investigation is still ongoing. But for now, we celebrate every little victory that we get in each and every step so that we stay encouraged, we stay motivated, so that we keep fighting. We still need to fill our tanks and keep moving forward because Ruth's life is at risk right now. We don't want anything to happen to her. And we'll try by all means to protect her. We'll try by all means to make sure her family is safe. Because safety is the most important thing right now. For her to stand and have the justice that she deserves, she has to be alive. She has to be present. In Jeremiah Omoto, your days are numbered. Your day is coming. And the rest of the charlatans that have been quiet and observing and keeping their mouth shut, your days are numbered as well. We are coming for each and every one of you. When we are done with you, then you will know that it was better for you to repent than to be exposed because we are bringing all your shenanigans to the air and we want the whole world to know what you people are made of. You are made of the devil and you are little devils. You don't deserve to be in the society. You should be operating your shrine somewhere in the bushes and stop endangering the lives of people. With that being said, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out. I'll check you out on the next episode.